every black parent, every mother and father look into the eyes of their child and they see something taking root, that they live in a world that despises them. And we have to teach them not to despise themselves. Well, I got a call uh, uh, from my son and he was horrified. He's at Brown University and he, has an, he had an assignment for his urban studies class to do an ethnography of a park in an, an upper class neighborhood in Providence. He was in the park and he was sat down with his notebook to observe and police drove by. And then they made a quick U-turn and they drove up on, on the sidewalk and blocked his exit. Cop got, gets out of the, um, the car and shines the light at his, in, at his feet and in the bushes and then in his face. And my son asks, uh, can I help you, officer? And uh, the officer says, well, who are you and why are you here? Uh, and my son said, uh, I'm, I'm a Brown student and I'm doing an assignment. Um, and the officer says to him, well, the park closes at 9.30. And my son says, well, I know, I know, but it's only 7.30. And then the other officer comes around, uh, gets out of the car with his hands on his weapon, and they lean into him and they tell him that the park closes at 9.30. And my son puts his hands up in the air, taps his girlfriend, and says, we don't want any trouble. Uh, and they leave. And he calls me, and this is about an hour after I received the phone call that I had been elected the president of the American Academy of Religion, the largest scholarly organization of religion scholars in the world. And here's my baby telling me that a cop, he was told that his body was in the wrong place. Uh, and I could have lost it. And at that moment, I didn't want to turn inward. I did what, I'd, I did what I've always done with him. And I said, as angry as I was, I said, now imagine if you lived in a different zip code, how often you would have to experience that, right? Because in these moments of individual trauma, we can turn inward and that becomes our sole preoccupation. And that's not justice work. In those moments of individual trauma, you have to turn outward, right? Because you know, as Cornell West told me a long time ago, he said, uh, we're all wounded. We just have to choose whether or not we're going to be wounded healers or wounded herders. <laughs>